da Vinci was one of the greatest artists of the Renaissance. He created many paintings and designed inventions far ahead of their time. Da Vinci, though legendary, had many secrets and many mysteries, some of which remain unsolved. There is a surprising amount of stuff that we don't know about Leonardo da Vinci, so today we're going to talk about the artists as we count down the top 10 mysteries that surround Leonardo da Vinci. At number 10, Inventions. Leonardo da Vinci was quite the smarty pants. We all know him mostly for his paintings, however he was so much more than just a mere artiste. Da Vinci was famous for his designs and art, as well as cartography, geology, and other studies. What's most impressive about Da Vinci are his inventions because he drew or described a number of devices that wouldn't be fully realized until centuries later. Some of his inventions include an underwater diving suit, like a scuba suit, an armored tank, a calculator, the machine gun, a keyboard, construction crane, a robot, and a flying machine. We have all of these things today, but back in Da Vinci's time, these inventions were quite bold. Leonardo conceptualized the armored tank 400 years before this invention was actually realized and used in World War I. Many of da Vinci's inventions went unpublished during his life and his notes and inventions were just passed on and created without giving da Vinci credit, but as we find more and more of da Vinci's lost notes, we are seeing just how many things he was inventing and how he's shaped our world so significantly. I wonder what other things Leo invented that we don't know about. At number 9, his lovers. Not much is known about Leonardo da Vinci's personal life. We know that he was never married, but that doesn't mean that the artist didn't have a love life. It is believed that da Vinci had a couple of lovers throughout his life, but there's no solid proof, only speculation and theories. Though we may never know for certain what his sexuality was, there are theories that suggest that da Vinci was into men. Many people believe that at one point da Vinci had some kind of relationship with his mentor, Andrea del Verrocchio, outside of their mentor-mentee partnership. There is also speculation that two of da Vinci's students were also his lovers, Gian Giacomo Caprotti and Francesco Melzi. Both joined da Vinci's atelier when they were 10 and 15 respectively, but it is believed that there were romantic ties between them. Caprotti is thought to have been da Vinci's favorite, and he even left Caprotti a mysterious inheritance in his will when he died. Back in Renaissance Italy, homosexuality was illegal, so if they were really Leonardo's lovers, they would have needed to keep things very secret. There was a report filed against da Vinci alluding to his sexuality, but because they were anonymous, the charges against the artist were dropped. Before we carry on talking about the mysterious life of Leonardo da Vinci, let me first take a moment to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and maybe even consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this one. At number 8, Mona Lisa Smirk. For some reason, people for years have been so obsessed with the Mona Lisa and her mysterious smirk. I mean, I don't really get what's so mysterious about it, but apparently it has been a hot topic in the art world. For years, people have been trying to piece together who Mona Lisa was and why she was smiling like that. Scans of the famous paintings have revealed many secrets, and countless scientists took a stab at trying to crack the case on this whole Mona Lisa mystery, but it seems like one person is thought to have figured out why Mona Lisa looks the way she does. Dr. Mandeep R. Mera, a physician from Boston, was standing in line to view the painting when he noticed her quote, sallow complexion, thinning hair, and misaligned smile, end quote. It was then that he diagnosed the woman in the painting with hypothyroidism. He suggested that her odd smile could have been connected to muscle weakness caused by her potential hypothyroidism. This combined with her thin and receding hairline, a bump next to her left eye, lack of eyebrow hair, yellow skin, and bump on her neck suggested that she was suffering from this glandular condition. To back up this theory, research was done on food that women would have eaten at the time that this painting was done, and because they ate a relatively iodine deficient diet, this could have caused the development of hypothyroidism since iodine is essential in maintaining thyroid health. At number 7, his mother. As I mentioned earlier, da Vinci's personal life had its own mysteries. One of the greater mysteries from Leonardo da Vinci's life is his mother. No one really knows who she was or where she came from, but there are a handful of theories. What we do know of his early life is that Leonardo was born on April 15, 1452. His father was Piero, a Florentine notary who was a famous womanizer, and his mother was Caterina. But other than her name, not much else is known about Caterina. The reason we don't know much about her is because she really wasn't in Leonardo's life. 
She spent little time with him and she sent him to live with his father. Historians have been able to narrow down a couple of people who could have been Leonardo's mother. She could have been Caterina de Mio de Lippo, who was a pauper from a neglected farm, or she could have been Caterina de Antonio de Cambio, who was the daughter of small landowners. It is also theorized that Caterina could have been a former slave from the Middle East because the name Caterina was a common name among women who converted to Catholicism. And since analysis of Leonardo's fingerprint indicated traits commonly found in people of Arabic descent, this could actually back up that theory. At number 6, The Last Supper. Many of Leonardo da Vinci's paintings are shrouded in mystery. There are many mysteries surrounding the Mona Lisa, other than the one I previously mentioned, and there are a couple of other pieces with a lot of unanswered questions, but let me tell you about one of the mysteries surrounding da Vinci's The Last Supper. The Last Supper is a depiction of Jesus and his disciples at the last Passover meal before Jesus' crucifixion. Though it looks like a normal painting, there are hidden easter eggs that raise some questions. Dan Brown, the author of The Da Vinci Code, came up with a theory that Mary Magdalene is depicted in the painting. Mary Magdalene is thought to have potentially been Jesus' wife, and according to Dan Brown, the disciple in the painting that was previously identified as John was actually Mary Magdalene because this person had softer features that could be perceived as feminine. There is a counter argument to this theory, saying that the softer features in the painting were more so to depict the youth of the disciple John because he was the youngest of Jesus' disciples. But what do you guys think? Is there actually merit to this theory? At number 5, Unfinished. From what we've learned about Leonardo da Vinci, he seemed like the type of person who marched to the beat of his own drum. He did whatever he wanted, when he wanted, and no one could tell him otherwise. Or at least that's how I perceive him anyway. But I think that this person of him could also be backed up by the fact that he apparently rarely ever finished his work. Apparently, da Vinci was known to leave commissions and his own personal works unfinished. He was a meh, not really feeling this one right now kind of guy. Turns out the Mona Lisa was actually a commission project from a wealthy silk merchant to the Medici, and he never received the painting. Some of da Vinci's other works, like the Sforza Horse Monument and the Battle of Anghiari mural, were also abandoned and never completed by the artist. As you can imagine, his clients would often hound and harass Leonardo for the completed pieces that he often never even started. He got so tired of painting later in life that he said that he could not even bear the sight of a paintbrush. I have to say I kind of feel bad for the people who never got their commission pieces because I'm sure they would have been quite incredible. At number 4, Salvatore Mundi. Here's another one of Leonardo da Vinci's pieces that is shrouded in mystery. Salvatore Mundi is one of da Vinci's paintings that has a lot of unanswered questions. People have wondered about the orb in the painting that's held by Jesus. People who know da Vinci's work notice that there is no refraction in the orb, which is uncharacteristic of da Vinci because he knew all about the physics there. But this mystery opened up a whole new jar of worms and a new question that is, did Leonardo da Vinci even paint Salvatore Mundi? And the answer is actually no. I know, crazy right? For all these years we thought that this was a da Vinci original, but it turns out that only about 20% of the painting was actually done by da Vinci himself. After analyzing the painting's artistic details and painting techniques, it is believed that Leonardo's assistant, Bernardino Luini, was the one to paint the majority of this piece. Luini was a painter in his own right, but his pieces never really fetched as much money as da Vinci's. Adding to all of this painting drama though, it is believed that Leonardo only completed about 15 paintings in his entire lifetime, so there's something to think about. At number 3, Dissection. Much like a lot of thinkers from back in the day, Leonardo da Vinci was curious about anatomy. His studies of anatomy first began as research for his paintings. He wanted to be as accurate to the human form as possible, and apparently he was quite a stickler about that. But later on, that research turned into a full-blown fascination for da Vinci. He went from merely researching anatomy to seeking a deeper understanding of the physiology of living things. As part of his research, Leonardo da Vinci was known to dissect human and animal bodies. He was fascinated by physiology and there was no limits to how far he would go out of curiosity. He was known to have removed a human eyeball and sliced it open to better understand its function and how it worked. Quite strange, but clearly it helped him out in his art, so as long as the people he was dissecting had already kicked the bucket, then all power to you, Leo. At number 2, where is Leonardo? One of the biggest mysteries about the end of Leonardo da Vinci's life is, where the heck is he? No one really knows what happened to the famed painter's remains. His tomb no longer exists and his bones are nowhere to be found. 
When he died, he was buried at the church of Saint Florentine in Amboise, France. But in the early 1800s, after years of erosion and revolutionary vandalism, the chapel needed to be repaired and they used gravestones and tombstones to repair the building. Children were known to play with the abandoned bones from the graveyard and so a gardener gathered the bones and buried them. None of the remains have really ever been pieced together, so they remain lost. It is believed that Leonardo's remains could have ended up in the castle of Amboise, but we don't really know if they're actually his remains or not. And finally, at number one, ciphers and encryptions. Leonardo da Vinci created a lot of mysteries for us to solve in modern day, but he was quite the mysterious man himself because he was known to use codes and encryptions. All of his notes were written backwards with a mirror, and though it isn't known for certain why he did this, many believe that it was to protect his inventions and other notes from falling into the wrong hands. Though it's a pretty easy encryption to figure out, to the average wandering person, the notes would have just looked like gibberish. Other people believe that he wrote everything backwards because he was left handed and it was just easier for him to write backwards. Leonardo just did everything differently, which made him a little weird to some, but a genius to many others. Now before I wrap things up, I want you guys to leave a comment down below telling me what surprised you the most from this list. There are so many strange facts and weird mysteries surrounding the Renaissance legend, but what really resonated with you from this list? Let me know down in the comments. Anyways, that's it for me. I've been your host, Room, and until next time, stay safe, make good choices, and stay sweet, bumblebees.